Hey Virgos, welcome back. Welcome back. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Here to do your, my goodness, we're going into August. So let's, let's try to take a little bit of uh, a look here at the end of July and going into August, all of August. Okay. And so as I was shuffling, obviously the lovers, you can see fell out. Well, you didn't see it fell out, but it did. So I just left it. Um, so I feel like that's the overall energy Virgo for August beginning now okay into this month okay I know some of you have August or August uh, Virgos so happy birthday to you guys ahead of time but yeah what let's see okay let me just give my disclaimer first remember these are general messages so that some may or may not resonate with you just take what fits don't try to force anything um, but yeah, lovers here, a major decision is being made in regards to love, soulmate, twin flame connection, kindred spirits, perfect union, partnership, romance, sexual connections, and shared values. Now this is, ver uh, gosh, well, Mercury rules, so it is a Gemini card. So let's take a look. There's a decision being made here to come into union, to come together in a partnership so let let me go a little bit more here and see what this energy is some of you could be connecting with a gemini okay let's see what else does virgo need to know for the end of july going into august with this beautiful energy let's hope that this still oh keeps going forward for you in a positive direction please spirit okay wow okay the world Success and achievement, oh my goodness, Virgo. Completion, fulfillment, a sense of belonging and wholeness. This is amazing. Virgo, this is amazing. You could be connecting with someone who's in a completely different world than you, <laughs> whether that be in the physical world or just in a different, uh, a higher plane, okay? This, this might be, for some of you, is going to feel like an out of the world love experience okay and an and otherworldly love experience and a little bit possibly of travel here okay so somebody may be connecting there may be travel involved in this in some kind of a meetup or connecting or a decision let me see here okay decision right when i said that two of swords okay there's been a stalemate okay in your love life maybe there's been this meeting people no one really fits the bill for you or you're just having trouble or you've had trouble connecting with people on a particular love vibration um, so there might have been a lot of sitting on the fence for you or you may have just felt like it's hopeless or you're just not going to make any moves and just focus on yourself and do whatever you do for yourself in your daily life okay but i do feel this energy is somebody facing their fears here and transitioning okay making a change with the world um putting the past in the past and having a brand new beginning here okay let me see there might have been somebody who well i don't want to say might have been but it, it does feel like for some of you somebody's leaving another relationship okay making a decision to leave a relationship that they might currently be in okay let's see Oh, wow. Okay, interesting. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Um, wow, somebody's very unhappy. Um, I feel with these two cards together, I feel like someone may have been involved with another person. Maybe you know this person, maybe you don't. We'll see. Um, but they may have been involved with someone else and it was just completely unfulfilling. Uh, miserable, a miserable connection with someone okay and this is why i feel like this person is making a decision to seek fulfillment you are coming across here as somebody's true love so i am picking up also libra and piscean energy okay um let's see somebody's very unhappy in a connection that they are in 
and they're leaving this marriage or this partnership, okay? Um, to whatever degree they were involved with someone, whether it was a romantic relationship or just a union that someone was having, could have been dating for a period of time and something not working out, okay? And it feels like this person is freeing themselves up, making this decision in their life to free themselves up. Now, it could be you as well, maybe both two people. You know, I feel like what you're seeking is seeking you, Virgo. You might not, you may not know this person right now, okay? But two, two I, I feel like you and another person, and it could be a twin or a soulmate type of energy, are both on this same trajectory path, and you're both you might be leaving a relationship or, or done with something another person is ending something and you're both like driving the parallel train you know and are going to meet over there at the crossroad okay and for others this could be somebody that you you know already have a connection with but virgo i i just feel like something that a per, another person thought was going to be better for them or was better for them turned out to just be it was just shattered okay somebody i'm hearing this person thinking to themselves another person that they're walking away from turned out to be an absolute nightmare might not have been that way at first but it turned out to be an absolute nightmare okay so there is a connection coming here for you and especially in august um, let me see. Now I'm hearing somebody's birthday. Um, okay, first they're telling me June 21st. Okay, but I'm also picking up either September 6th or the September 21st. All right, let's see. What else? What are the other messages here? Okay, so you have a King of Cups here. So this is the first court card. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, you could be connecting with going forward. This is someone who comes across as very mature, compassionate, calm, more in their divine masculine energy. Okay, caring, friendly, tolerant type of person, very diplomatic romantic, charming, devoted, a family-oriented type of a person. All right, let's see. They have very high emotional intelligence. Let me see what's going on with this King of Cups. Oh, wow, the sun. Okay, interesting. Yeah, this person's getting free. Maybe they live somewhere where it's very sunny. Um, or this... This person is, is, is free. They're freeing themselves up from something. It could be this situation here, okay? Um, and I feel like this person is in a, in a very like open-minded, they're very open-minded about love at this time with you. Oh, okay, so the judgment just popped out. So, wow, it's awakening happen, happening here, a renewal someone is homesick okay and for some of you this could be a reconciliation and for others so this is a pluto card for others there's forgiveness there's forgiveness this person is coming in like seeking forgiveness they're for, um if you know them forgiving you for something if not this person if you don't know them it's really like a lot of self-reflection and self-evaluation. I feel like this person's been taking a look at themselves and that's why they are, what they're actually finding, they're uncovering, is that they're ready for love, true love, not just fantasy love, not just fake love, not just simple, um, non-committal. This is the, the lovers' this deep partnership, okay? Deep partnership. <clears throat> Decisiveness. <clears throat> Making a decision. Somebody's coming in here. It's interesting because judgment in the sun gives me a very opening feeling, an awakening. Waking up in the morning, this person, 
I feel like sometime between August 19th and the 20th, there's going to be a huge awakening, uh, waking up in the morning and it's just hitting them that it's, it's not that it's not that, um, they haven't thought about this before, but it's like confirmation with judgment, like a snap decision happens. They wake up in the morning, get their coffee, you know, get themselves ready for work. They're in the bathroom doing their hair, and then it just, they get this spiritual download, you know, out of the blue that they're ready. They're ready for love, okay? There's some type of like thing here now. Like I said, for some of you, this could be somebody you don't know yet. And all of this begins to play out to people connecting. All of this begins to play out in both of your lives. And then you guys just at some point come together. But this is like the process. I'm, I'm looking at snapshots of the process of love here, of an awakening to love. Now, you might know this person, okay? So I feel like there's... A lot of healing happening and opening up, coming out from some type of dark place into the sun, into the light, exposure, exposing themselves, happiness, joy. Um, some of you, there may be a desire um, for uh, having a child or connecting with children. Let me see here. What is the other energy for this? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Ten of Cups. This this reading. Okay. And then I've got the star here at the bottom. Interesting. This is healing a, a marriage or a family. Having a reunion. Um, homecoming. Stability. Security. Long-term relationship. This could be healing a marriage. If you were married to this person or in um, some type of, um, well, the word marriage is not necessarily, it just means to marry two souls together. Um, so whatever type of connection you uh, might have been in with this person, maybe in the 5D, <clears throat> or you've always, always felt their energy and that they would be coming to you, um, this, this is what's happening. Wow. Okay. That's twice with the pregnancy card. I feel like, oh my goodness, maybe you um, were pregnant with this person. This person could also be involved with someone. And, and this is only if you know that where there is a pregnancy involved, they could have been married to this person, but there might be separation happening. Okay. And that's only if you know about that. I'm not predicting that, okay? But I feel like with this person, like they're ready for a new beginning, a new start in their life here. Let's see. They look at you. This person sees you as being or will see you, of course. Like I have to go with both because I do have reconciliation and reunion here. So when you meet this person, even if it's a reunion connecting, I feel like this person looks at you as such a nurturing, loving, um, sensual person. Uh, this is how they view you or will be viewing you when you connect. Look, I just shuffled and the star showed up again. Okay, so Aquarian energy. We have Taurus again with the Pisces. So this is hope. This person is hoping um, that there will be rejuvenation of this relationship or this connection or that when you guys connect, um, renewal again. I, I'm picking up, listen, I have to go with what the messages give me here. For some of you, this is some type of renewal in a relationship, a healing. And I'm not just talking about, you know, um, just simply returning to one another. This is deep healing. Like I said, there a lot of self-evaluation and awakening um, if you know of love of your love for them positive energy faith you know um, oh gosh Virgo I mean 
when we start off with the lovers, this is a decision of two people coming together. There's no doubt in my mind. Oh my goodness. Now we have temperance, balance, peace, restoring harmony in a connection here, in a relationship, soulmate energy. Very beautiful. This is Sagittarius. You know, you guys, I, I really just get a sense here that there is somebody here who is ready to come forward and will be coming forward in August. Some of you might have birthdays, um, September 14th, the 17th, the 3rd. Um, this person is coming forward to reconnect with you um, September 19th for some to restore balance and harmony in this connection how does this person I mean Virgo I just feel okay I was just asking how this person feels about you um, <laughs> the high priestess so I feel like I mean there's something very unique and mysterious about you that is just very special very special like I don't f I feel like they have this inner knowing like they know deep within their intuition that they truly do love you they see you as being like they feel like you're you're divine you have maybe you have psychic gifts or spiritual gifts um, and there's things about you that they don't fully know that, <clears throat> excuse me, haven't fully been revealed to them. And they're tremendously um, curious to learn and know this, this, how you know things or how you understand things like either about them or just in general about life. Your spiritual insights. I mean, this is how they view you overall. They view you as someone who's very peaceful and patient. Um, and that you do overall have this inner calm. And that you are, um, like, you have inner truth. You, they see you as someone who is very balanced, okay? But they also see that you, you carry a lot of burden. You tend to overburden yourself or overload yourself with stress and worries they know this about you as well you carry a, a huge weight on your shoulders um, many obligations they also feel like you tend to restrict yourself and not show yourself to them okay that you you kind of hide sometimes or you hide your struggles but they this person is very intuitive as well and they know this and they sense this or again we're coming up with double sagittarius energy also cancer this person is is very aware um that you don't want to you you keep your struggles and your your stress and your burdens hidden you don't reveal you don't really share that i'm not sure why you don't share that with this person um, maybe you don't want to overburden them or maybe you you have a hard time trusting that if you were to open up that they would receive you or just find you to be annoying like i don't want to say annoying but like too much to bear you know but they they are they already know they're, they're already aware. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Look, got the magician with the high priestess. I mean, this is 100%. Maybe you dabble in magic. Um, hopefully white magic, not dark magic. Um, but they see you as someone who's very creative and powerful. Like you, you, they see, uh, maybe you're self-employed. They see that you have um, like this creative ability to manifest things in your work, like you make things happen for yourself. Maybe you're a tarot reader, or you indulge in um, holistic type of energies or something to do with like, um, you know, what's the word I wanna use? I'm at a loss for words here. Um, 
Well, they keep giving me the occult. So for some of you, that could have something to do with it. Um, or you ha you're, there's a spiritual, like you, you have this all-knowing. And maybe you put some of that into your work life. Um, they see you as someone who's like, you can visualize the things that you want and manifest these things. They also feel like you're a smooth talker. <laughs> maybe you're a smooth criminal. Maybe their name is Michael or Jack. Um, you have the gift of gab. <laughs> okay, interesting. Um, let's see. So that's Mercury there. So Virgo, Gemini energy. Oh, so maybe you've got a little. So the Seven of Swords, they sometimes wonder if you are, what kind of tricks you're going to pull out of your hat. Yeah. Um, you might be a little bit of a schemer. <laughs> um, okay, this person spies on you, Virgo. Okay, they watch you. Um, and I think they think that you watch them too. Um, or maybe they hope that you do. Okay. Hmm. I also feel like um, <clears throat> this person also who thinks that you're very flexible what does that mean that maybe you're physically flexible or they enjoy your flexibility um, they think also that you work very hard to steady your emotions that you have ups and downs all right let me let's read a little bit more into this person Okay, but you know, overall, it's like I feel like this person feels like they already know you. Whatever it is that you try to hide or reveal from them, they already are aware. But there's other things about you that you're not trying to hide and not reveal to people that they don't have a clue about. And so you remain a mystery to this person. Let's take a look and see more of their energy. Okay, so we saw, okay, Two of Cups. So we saw this person coming to some type of an awakening here. You know, um, especially I felt strongly like in the morning, waking up to a realization around um, August 19th through the 20th, waking up to a realization um, that there is a real connection here. This person wants very much to connect with you. Um, they're very attracted to you, Virgo. There's equality. This person feels like there's something about... You may not be on the same page about everything, but the things that you are on the same page about are intense, are real, are the most important things. They, this person is seeking happy... Um, a, a happy connection with you okay this is what they seek in their life okay and even if it's so I'm picking up cancer energy even if this uh, somebody on the cusp of cancer Leo um, July 22nd 23rd somewhere around there okay um, now I lost my train of thought this person seeks compatibility this is what oh they said um, there's it's friends there's friendship friends and lovers okay um this is a potential this person sees that there's more here they're waking up to this seeing that there's more here than what they thought okay wow okay this person is really going through some type of they're going through a major transition here, healing again. I keep getting healing cards, moving forward, things calming down. There's there's a calm after a storm. There's definitely um, a, a connection that's going to get made around this time. Okay, this person is going to like take this journey, uh, run away, make this transition. Whatever hardships they they have a lot of hardships, but they overcome them um, pretty quickly. Okay. Um, maybe if you knew them, there was some kind of uh, stormy situation that might have occurred between the two of you. This person's going to come forward when things calm down. Oh, yeah. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. An offer. Make a huge offer of investment here in your relationship. 
this person sees so much potential for growth abundance and it's always been there i feel virgo and i feel like but this person for some reason why didn't they see this for some reason this person they i guess they um probably because there was somebody else another connection or other people in their life that they couldn't break free from um that they couldn't um there was a lot of blocking energy with that two of swords like not seeing not hearing not speaking arms crossed in front blocking the energy from coming forward maybe hiding or not um revealing much of anything so let's see a little bit more why this person so we knew there was a potential here they knew that there, there was something here oh okay so i was asking why there was blocking restrictions feeling trapped this person felt trapped in whatever they were in or whatever maybe they felt victimized or they were paralyzed by fear and terror okay um they felt helpless hopeless um they felt silenced this person was in crisis and just denying that crisis i think feel like when the connection was made here between the two of you okay we have the king of wands showing up here so aries leo sagittarius um this is really bad for a king of wands male or female to be restricted it's like a caged lion it's like a caged animal um i feel like that was very repressive for this person they're generally someone who's very charming very much like you has a way with words um free thinking motivated action oriented this person very passionate and honest um so, and very optimistic and confident but this person was isolated they felt isolated and restricted and they couldn't get out of something they're coming out of it what is making this person come out of this situation wow there's a tower moment happening there's a tower moment happening okay um and i feel like that's why they're walking away from whatever this nightmare was it could have been with another person it just could have been like in general maybe in their family life or their career just their lifestyle whatever it was um an unexpected change like this something is falling apart and is it's giving them revelation okay their confusion this is coming down from the universe like this is an energy of life is having its way with this person okay and um, i don't know if you've ever heard the saying you know when it's time to move and you don't move spirit will move you spirit will move you okay um and that's what's happening here the lightning strike is coming down it, it, it busting through this person's head it's it's kind of like um their brain was shut off they couldn't think they couldn't you know overthinking paralyzation this person was paralyzed right this this is kind of like when someone um their heart stops beating and then they get that electric shock to their heart and it puts that energy back into their heart again you know and, and that's what i feel like is happening here it's it's like a shock treatment this is like a shock treatment happening here it, it's just coming out of it's like a storm it's and that's why they're coming after the storm calming down and re and coming to terms with you are the person for them you are the one they want to be with okay now i know like i was saying in the beginning there was an energy of somebody here that you might both of you don't know each other you could be re reuniting in um where there's a twin flame in separation that you don't know of this person and then you and so this is happening like a parallel energy in both of your lives at the same so the message not only could be reversed but could be happening for both of you okay um where the tower comes in and says oh this is done um two people stuck in their will and spirit comes down and says no nope, we're we're changing everything here now we're breaking ground we are destroying this this tower this concrete isolated tower where people have been trapped and we're just breaking it down so they can be free divorce um div pain you know um confusion there might have been some bankruptcy it could even there is for some there's like a natural disaster fire or flood or something along those lines or something happening 
with a house it's, it's just the house is, is coming down okay this is crazy okay there we go with that reunion so for you august babies there could be something here with a birthday something to do with a birthday okay reuniting on your birthday your august um the 23rd through the 31st okay uh, indulgence, a, a getting together, a party, celebrating your birthday. Uh, uh, this is a, is, there's a gift coming in for you as well, uh, Virgo. You might be receiving a gift from somebody. Um, and for others, you know, it could be a pre-birthday gift if your birthdays are in September. Okay, yeah, this person has a lot of regret. There's a lot of grief, despair. I feel like somebody here is saying to themselves, what the hell did I do? What did I do? There's bereavement here. Mourning something, a loss. Regret. What have I done? A true awakening. And making change. Oh my gosh, there's karma. Somebody's having some karma. Wow, this is intense. This is intense reading. Uh, you know what, you guys? I feel like <laughs> we've just come out of cancer season. Um, did we or have we come out of cancer season yet? I think we did. I don't even know what the day... Oh, it's July 24th. Yeah, so we're going into Leo season. So I feel like the, the, the month of... Uh, the end of June and July, there's this, a lot of um, cancer, see, cancer energy. This cancer season will have us really connect with our heart and our home and our families and what's important to us and our emotions and, you know, um, the people we love. Um and I feel like that has had a profound effect on a lot of people, which had them really connect to their heart and what is valuable and, and, and who is valuable and important to them truly in their life. Leo season is all about action, taking action. And this is what I feel like is going on here. Now they're just telling me to pull a couple of more cards here. Okay. Oh, we've got enemy and joyfulness okay this person you know i feel like they really want to reconcile or reunite with you or have some type of connection with you but they're fearful that you might be angry with them or view them as like a psychopath or some kind of enemy of some sort you know, and I do feel like they're watching you um, as you're enjoying your life and you're spending time with friends and family and they feel like they're on the outside right now, okay? They feel like, you know, when there's, you know, three people sitting at the lunch table and you get your lunch and you're like trying to figure out where you, where you should sit and... And you see people, the three people sitting there and you're like, oh, I wonder if they'll accept me. You know, should I, I don't really know them. I'm not sure. They seem really happy. I feel like if I go over there, they might reject me or look at me funny. How do I approach? This is the energy I, I feel like this person has right now. Um, I don't know. There might be a little bit of a tinge of jealousy that you might be portraying yourself to be very happy. And maybe you are, you know, and, and coming through something and, and enjoying your life. But there's a little bit of a little bit of jealousy. Yeah, a widower. This person just feels like a widow, like you're gone, like like the relationship is dead or, it's you know, um, they're mourning for sure, but they know that you're, but you are still alive and you are still happy and, and joyful, you know, or, or you're doing your best with that. And this person, it's conflicting. There's dissonance here because it's like, they feel like you're gone and you don't, ex they feel like 
you know, it's, it's the death of a relationship, yet you're still there. So it's very conflicting for this person. This is getting a little deep. Okay, it's getting a little deep. Okay, but they still have hope. They're still hoping and they're hoping you're going to forgive them or there can be forgiveness between the two of you. And we're ending a reunion. There you go. I just feel like you guys, um, you know, this reunion, this connecting, this person is very deeply in love with you, Virgo. And are you? Perhaps you are. Um, but it feels like if there was a lack of closure or anything, I, f I just feel like this person does not, they, they can't, it, it doesn't feel obsessive. It, I don't pick up like obsessive energy, but I pick up, they value you so much. Like there's so much, there's, there's something here that they, they, they know that you are the person for them or will know that coming up soon or have always known that but they were just too restricted they couldn't get themselves you know this could just be as well for some of you this person might have just had very deep isolation mental restrictions feeling mentally trapped with their minds backed into a corner you know um this person has extreme anxiety and fear, terror when it comes to they feel pressure to perform or to connect on an emotional level, even though they have very high emotional intelligence. It's very difficult for them to open up. So they kind of self, maybe self sabotage for various reasons, you know, um, don't feel worthy of love, don't feel worthy of your love, don't feel um, like they would, you know, it's kind of, I just, I hear this person says, uh, why would you even love me? Maybe they've said that to you in the past, or they say it to themselves. Why, how could you even love me? And, and even after all I've after all we've been through or even after all that's happened why would you still love me do you I mean if you tell them that you do uh, that that's benign and bizarre to this person and if you haven't told them they're asking themselves Virgo could never love me after or anyone in general after, because of who I am or the way I am this person has a real strong uh, critical um, tape that plays in their head about themselves and 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 I, I'm not talking about their everyday life I'm talking about their deep um, their self-worth and their value when it comes to one-on-one -on -one very deep personal romantic relationships you know they might be perfectly fine going through their day with their friends you know they they might gain their self-esteem from their career um, and a praise that they receive from people or praise um, from people for a job well done but when it comes to this deep deep emotional stuff uh, vulnerability and revealing themselves it's really um, they might have even gotten to a point where they revealed things to you but then they would clam up again okay because it's too much to bear it's it's kind of like you know going out a night drinking you know when you were younger and then you know waking up the next day and saying oh my god what did I do what did I do and then your friends calling you and telling you do, do you remember last night do you remember what you did it's the shame it's it's embarrassment it's the shame okay three of swords so this person um, there's definitely they definitely they're broken hearted that's what I can tell you and they feel lonely um, but they know that whatever is external to them or that they've been attached to outside of you has been nothing but a nightmare and has brought them sadness um, or you know unhappiness okay so yeah Virgo um, okay this person I'm telling you they're abandoning those old plans, walking away, okay? They've reached their limit. Self-analysis again, self-reflection, 
okay self-evaluation who do they have nobody they're on their own really even within a relationship they feel constant like a, they either feel like a disappointment or they've been told that they're a disappointment they tend to withdraw but there's much introspection happening and i feel like this person if they haven't already left the um scenario um yet they're they've already detached emotionally from it uh, this other situation they just yeah they're going after their peace they've withdrawn from whatever this sit the, the other situation and and just in general i feel like this person's on some kind of journey seeking um you know uh, their, their self-discovery is what's happening here calming themselves down okay taking some solitude going into sanctuary and regrouping to be able to come towards you um in august towards the end of august yep here you go coming towards you big changes seizing the day this person is going to seize a particular day and very impulsive um there'll be a lot of communication happening and it will it will not be indirect it will be direct communication assertive at the at, at the best of this person's ability um they may even be telling you um i'm gonna be in like down the sh i'm gonna be where okay they just said a place that we used to go um, i'm gonna be there if you want to come meet me um uh, they're giving me a rival departure so this could have something to do with flights or train okay um you know or wherever there's arrival and departure um or you know and, and that could be with you you know in a particular like an airport or a train station or this could be with um with them okay yeah this person's yeah they're holding on they don't want to give up here they just had some stuff they needed to take care of or some people they might have gotten involved with someone um this might not have been a long-term thing or a marriage that they were involved in for some of you they could have gotten involved with someone and that turned out to be a nightmare and that actually they were able to compare compare and contrast um you between you and another person for whatever reason there might have been separation and this person's like oh my gosh they made you look like an angel <laughs> which this person you know they already intuitively knew in their heart that you were that okay but it looks like maybe when they were saying my goodness what have i done they made a mistake and i feel like this person wants to rebuild here rebuild this connection now of course virgo i tell you all the time you know if this is an abusive relationship or if you were involved with someone who uh abusive in any form okay um you need to take a look at that first um it's not about them it's about your healing journey if if there's um an opportunity to heal a relationship where both parties are working on it and acknowledging their role in the relationship and you know and then saying okay what can we do to fix this and and both are motivated capable and willing to fix it and um renew it and bring um a fresh new healing energy to it then by all means yeah it can happen but you have to want that and they do too so even though i'm picking up for some of you what is happening here with this person it certainly isn't set in stone that just because a reading is giving to you this way that you have to do it you have free will okay and if that's something that you don't want to do um yep just click off the reading and say nope uh something else but for some of you i will say this could be somebody coming i just saw the king of swords this could be somebody coming in it's interesting how the only if you're female the only female energy i have here uh feminine is um the empress there's no um feminine court cards that have showed up so you know if, if this if you want this reconciliation and this healing with this person 
uh, emotional healing yeah it could be done it could be done if not um but like i was saying it, it could just be for some of you there's two of you who are going through and you haven't met yet and you're both going you both have parallel lives there's similarities and you neither one of you have met you've never spoken you don't know that this person is going through a very same situation as you and you two are actually um there's a connection that gets made okay where all that probably will come out later but a connection gets made and it's like wow okay we've got something here there's something going on here um and then the discovery phase happens okay so i'm just going to leave your reading there for now virgo um i hope that you enjoyed that i hope that that gave you some insight and clarity and um maybe even a little bit of joy all right virgo i will see you guys tomorrow take care